Welcome to our Linux Professional Institute Level 1 course. My name is Brad Causey and I'll be working with you as one of the authors on this course. Bobby Rogers will also be working with you with content development. Linux Professional Institute is a not-for-profit organization that develops standards for Linux testing and certification. This course from an overall standpoint is going to provide you with the skills necessary to administer and work on Linux boxes. So we'll go over some of the concepts and functionalities of the Linux operating system so that you'll have a better understanding of how Linux works. Some of the objectives that we'll be covering is an overall introduction to Linux, which will provide you with the knowledge of what Linux is as an operating system, what features it can offer, and what various distributions it will come in. Following that, we'll talk about Linux installation procedures. We'll talk about planning the installation, the different hardware requirements for various distributions, as well as some of the boot options and overall setup process. Now, we'll also talk about the boot process in a little bit more depth in the next section. One of the things we'll discuss here is something called bootloaders which is something that allows the BIOS to actually pass control to the operating system. So it's kind of an intermediary that allows the operating system to get the information that it needs and allow you to have various choices during the boot process. Next, we'll get into some of the command basics, which will allow you to perform functions inside the Linux operating system. So it's very important that you have these basics under control before you move forward in the course so that you can actually know how to get help from various commands and move around and navigate within the operating system. Next, we'll talk about file processing. File processing simply means that you have the ability to copy, move, rename, and manipulate various files in the file system of Linux. Now once we've got the different file processing capabilities down, we'll talk about file permissions. Permissions are basically a method of access control to files and applications. So having the ability to view and manipulate file permissions is very important for the security of your system. We'll also talk about text processing. And this will actually allow you to view text files, manipulate those, and possibly even search different text files and individual files on the Linux file system. Speaking of the Linux file system, that's going to be our next topic. The Linux file system is a fairly complex entity, and it's very important that you understand how the Linux file system works. So we'll cover some of the various available Linux file systems. We'll talk about mounting partitions, working with the various partitions that already exist, and we'll also talk about in part two actually creating those partitions and working with file systems as you create them. Next we'll get into text editing. Now text editing can be a little bit misleading. We're going to use a program called VI, and VI can allow you to do many things. It's actually comparable with some of the word processors built into Windows such as Notepad or WordPad but it has many more features and much more flexibility. Now one of the major things that you're going to want to do once you get Linux installed and running is configure the hardware of your system. Although some hardware will come configured by default, it may not always be configured the way you want. So having the ability to configure already running hardware or enable hardware that you want to run is going to be extremely valuable in your adventures with Linux. The next thing we're going to talk about is package management for both Debian and Red Hat. Now package management is basically a method of installing, removing, and manipulating applications and features inside the Linux operating system. So package management is very important. And one of the reasons we've separated it out here is that Debian's package management is significantly different from Red Hat, where most other components of Linux are going to be standard from one distribution to the next. We'll also talk about installing packages from source code. 
because you may not always receive your individual application or component packages in an intuitive manner. Now, X Windows is actually a graphical environment used to work inside of Linux. And although we won't get very involved in the graphical component, having the ability to configure the X Window subsystem is going to be very important for end users. And coming close to wrapping things up, we're going to talk about general administration of Linux. It's very important to be able to pull all of these components together and look at it from a higher level. So having the administration capability to do various things inside of Linux is going to be very important. And finally, we'll review the LPI 101 exam, which is a test that will give you the ability to become certified for LPI. And this is only one component of the initial LPI 1 certification.